Welcome to Lab 360. Making science super fun and super simple. The ESA NASA Solar Orbiter spacecraft has captured the largest solar prominence eruption ever observed in a single image together with the full solar disk. Solar prominences are large structures of tangled magnetic field lines that keep dense concentrations of solar plasma suspended above the sun's surface, sometimes taking the form of arching loops. They are often associated with coronal mass ejections, which are directed towards Earth, can wreak havoc with our technology and everyday lives. This latest event took place on February 15, 2022, and extended millions of kilometers into space. The coronal mass ejection was not directed at Earth. In fact, it is traveling away from us. There is no sign of the eruption on the solar disk facing the spacecraft, which is currently approaching the Earth's sun line, meaning that it must have originated from the side of the sun facing away from us. The imagery was captured by the full sun imager, FSI, of the Extreme Ultraviolet Imager, EUI, on Solar Orbiter. FSI is designed to look at the full solar disk even during close passages of the sun, such as during the upcoming perihelion passage next month. At the closest approach on March 26, which will see the spacecraft pass within about 0.3 times the Sun-Earth distance, the Sun will fill a much larger portion of the telescope's field of view. Right now, there is still a lot of viewing margin around the disk, enabling stunning detail to be captured by FSI out to about 3.5 million kilometers, equivalent to five times the radius of the Sun. Other space telescopes such as the ESA NASA SOHO satellite frequently see solar activity like this, but either closer to the sun or further out by means of an occulter, which blocks out the glare of the sun's disk to enable detailed imagery of the corona itself. Thus, the prominence observed by Solar Orbiter is the largest ever event of its kind to be captured in a single field of view together with the solar disk, opening up new possibilities to see how events like these connect to the solar disk for the first time. At the same time, SOHO can provide complementary views to even larger distances. And while this event did not send a blast of deadly particles towards Earth, it is an important reminder of the unpredictable nature of the Sun and the importance of understanding and monitoring its behavior. Together with ESA's future dedicated space weather mission vigil, which will provide unique views of events like these, we can better protect our home planet from the Sun's violent outbursts. Do you guys think Earth dodged a bullet? Let's discuss it in the comments. Meanwhile to know more about NASA and other world space missions subscribe to Lab360 and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video. A powerful solar flare has been traveling through space and it will arrive at planet Earth on Wednesday, which may trigger a geomagnetic storm. This comes just a week after a similar moderate geomagnetic storm was triggered by the powerful eruptions hurtled by the sun towards the Earth. The burst, which came from a sunspot called AR-2936, was especially long-lasting, enduring for more than four hours, astronomer Tony Phillips reported at spaceweather.com. The forecast is based on the data collected by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory Mission's Large Angle and Spectrometric Coronagraph. The Center of Excellence in Space Sciences said the defilament eruption was observed on the sun south of the disk center on February 6, 2022. The eruption was recorded by the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, Mission's Large Angle and Spectrometric Coronagraph, LASCO, said CES. SOHO is a joint mission by NASA and the European Space Agency launched in 1995 to study the Sun. It routinely identifies the coronal mass ejections. The CES further said that the Earth will be impacted by the moderate geomagnetic storm in the range 451 to 615 km per second from February 9, 548 UT to February 10, 953 UT. What is a solar flare? A solar flare is an intense eruption of electromagnetic radiation in the sun's atmosphere. Flares occur in active regions and are often, but not always, accompanied by coronal mass ejections, solar particle events, and other solar phenomena. CMEs can dramatically change Earth's magnetic field, which can cause power grids to fail as equipment is affected or destroyed. As we continue to fight the effects of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, businesses increasingly rely on digital solutions and communications networks. But what if those systems were taken out by nature? There's a real risk that a geomagnetic storm triggered by a burst of solar energy could overwhelm our power grids, shutting down cell towers and crippling worldwide communications. If this happened today, the disaster would knock out power plants, transmission lines, and substations for entire regions or cities. Huge swaths of the world's population could be without power for weeks at a time, leading to health crises, food shortages, and devastating economic effects. 
the impact is unlikely to be very hazardous. Moderate geomagnetic storms are likely, the CES further said on Twitter. The solar storm could also touch off geomagnetic activity that could make the northern lights visible, which means the solar flare could create auroras from the Arctic Circle to New York. Scientists are working to protect our connections by using space-based research to learn about the sun's energy. Experts are also doing everything they can to safeguard power stations against the effects of solar storms, meaning we are ready this time. The question remains, do we stand a chance against nature? Let's discuss it in the comments.